Everywhere we go, we find there are two kinds. Some of them are animals. Some are plants. Now, if we watch carefully some living things, such as these chickens and their run, we should be able to discover the things living things do because they are alive. Perhaps the first thing we notice about chickens is that they move. All living things are able to move. They move all or part of themselves of their own accord. Living things can find the things they want or know if danger is about because they can see other things with their eyes. By hearing with ears or touching or in other kinds of ways, they know about things going on around them. They are not senseless, they are sensitive. The chick feels hungry and looks for food. Food is needed to give them energy for all their movements. All living things require food materials for energy. Then the chick has to breathe in oxygen, otherwise it cannot make use of the energy in its food. It takes in oxygen from the air. The oxygen passes into its lungs. Most living things breathe in oxygen to use the energy from their food. But some of the food it eats is not used to give energy. It is changed so that it becomes part of the chick's body and so the chick gets larger or grows. As it grows, it develops. All living things use some of their food to grow up with. After being mated with a cock, a hen will lay a number of fertile eggs and sit on them to keep them warm or incubate them. Lying on the yolk inside the egg is a tiny pet. This has grown from a cell which was made inside the hen's body. This patch is the beginning of a chick. It feeds on the yolk and grows. After several hours, it develops eyes and a heart and all the other parts of a chick's body. Long before it hatches, it is recognizable as a chick. Now, living things always begin in this way. They start as a tiny piece or cell made inside their parent's body. The making of these cells is known as reproduction. All living things can reproduce themselves. Now, if we consider plants, we find they can do the same thing. They move, feed on food material, often breathe in oxygen, they grow and they reproduce themselves. Most plants reproduce themselves by forming flowers. Then the flowers wither, having produced seed pods in which seeds develop. The seed corresponds to the egg of the hen. Inside the skin are seed leaves, storing food material made by the parent plant as the hen's body makes the yolk of the egg. Inside the seed, the young plant first sends out a root system into the soil. This is the way the plant gets water and other food materials. Then the shoot begins to grow upwards and form leaves, which will take more food materials from gases in the air. At the same time, 
The seedling is taking in oxygen all over its surface as it breathes. Here, by special photography, we can see that the plant moves. Parts of the plant move slowly by growing. So they reach the things they need, such as light and gases in the air. Parts of the plant are sensitive as well. Their roots and special organs like stems and tendrils respond to things around them. By special photography again, we can speed up the round and round movement of the stem tip of this bean. If it feels a support, it will twist itself round and climb up it. Plants are sensitive to other things like light and water. We can now compare living things with some non-living things we know, which at first sight seem to be able to do some of the things that living ones can do. For instance, this kite is moving, but it is not flying of its own accord. It is blown by the wind and controlled by the children, and it can't control where or how fast it flies. No non-living thing has senses. They do not know what is going on around them, and so may blunder into danger or destruction and are not able to do anything about it. At first sight, a railway engine seems to use coal rather as living things use food. When burnt with oxygen, the energy in the coal changes the water in the boilers to steam, which drives the engine along. But the coal is not used to build up the engine's body. Non-living things can never grow. However, in some cases, you may think non-living things can grow. You know that if we suspend a crystal in water containing a great deal of the same substance dissolved in it, it appears to grow. It takes out the substance dissolved in the water, and this collects in layers on the crystal, which seems to grow. Similarly, these crystals dropped into a water glass solution appear to grow like plants. It is also due to substances being taken from the water onto their surfaces. But they don't develop or grow up as living things do. Neither do the crystals reproduce themselves. So, in the world around us, there are two main kinds of living things. Animals and plants. All living things have certain things in common. Firstly, they are able to move, so they obtain the things they need, or get away from unpleasant things. Plants move slowly, chiefly by growing. Secondly, living things know about the outside world because they have senses. They can smell, see, hear, or feel so they avoid danger and find the things they need. Plants have special organs sensitive to light, touch and so on, like these tendrils. Thirdly, food materials are taken in. Plants take them from the soil and air. Animals need more complicated food materials. Fourthly, they breathe, taking in oxygen. Plants take it in all over their surface. Animals often have special organs like lungs. They need oxygen to sit. Fifthly, some of the food is changed and becomes built so that the living thing grows bigger. But as it grows bigger, it grows new parts, and so looks different and behaves differently. We say it...
when fully grown, it is able to give rise to other living things by reproduction. A tiny part of the parent's body, a seed or an egg, is formed and that too grows and does all the things a living thing does until finally it reproduces itself again.